All right, so recently I posted a video about a stag beetle that I found fighting a, a rhinoceros beetle. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the wild, right? Like two freaking crazy beetles fighting them at the same time. Well, to make a correction on that video, because I didn't actually find a stag beetle. Someone in the comments let me know that it's actually a ground beetle that I found. So let me show you really quick. So I actually have them both pinned right here. I collected them both. Here's the rhinoceros beetle, so cool. And then here's what I thought was a female stag beetle. Look at those massive jaws, but it's actually not a stag beetle. It's a ground beetle. Genus Scarites or something like that, S-C-A-R-I-T-E-S. Okay, so I'm gonna show you three ways that we can tell that this is not a stag beetle and actually a ground beetle. Um, and I'm actually gonna use the rhinoceros beetle as a comparison because what we're really looking at is that this is a ground beetle and not a scarab. Rhinoceros beetles and stag beetles are both scarabs and they're pretty similar. So number one, just kind of looking at the legs, like scarabs have these really beefy legs uh, meant more for like digging and they're pretty slow moving. Ground beetles are a lot faster and move around a lot more, kind of have thinner legs. That's just kind of like, uh, you know, something you can look at kind of a general thing, not too like definitive. Getting into the more definitive things, these um, antenna are very thin and filiform. Uh, filiform just means like thin and thread-like. But if you were to see big antenna on this guy and he was a scarab, they'd be like clubbed or like fanned at the end. The third thing is this uh, triangle you see right here in the middle of the shell on the rhinoceros beetle, which is a scarab. You can see that it has this triangular shape. Um, that's called the scutellum. It's just a piece of the, the shell on the abdomen, piece of the carapace, I guess, to be more um, exact. Uh, here you can see that, you know, they, they still have one, but it's kind of sunken in and creates this like snatched waist kind of. That is another way you can tell it's a ground beetle is that they don't have this kind of like triangle thing here. It's more sunken in and yeah, a little bit different. If you have more info on how to distinguish a scarab from a ground beetle, please let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, follow Pocket Bugs for more bug content.